So I alt tab while I'm trying to level my cleric up here to change my playlist. And all of a sudden, bam! I got half a dozen fire monsters stepping on my head. Luckily, I'm a cleric tank, a Justicar, and I'm like untouchable. Look at my health. That's just crazy. That's crazy. Can your class do that? I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about Rift. <laughs> Hello again, all this Eatmo Pie. Major Eatmo Pie, the Shady. <laughs> and we're playing Rift again. I want to talk a little bit about a PvP in this game. It is not really complex, but it is definitely in-depth. And uh, if you click on your PvP stats, you can see all of your stats. And also, a little thing called PvP Prestige. And as you PvP, the more you PvP, the more prestige you'll gain. And it goes up to, I believe, level 80. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't think you can get there until probably level 60, but maybe it's possible. I'm not sure. I'm not level 60 yet. Leveling in this game is very, very slow. Very slow. Now, also, you'll see that there are a lot of battlegrounds. And not only are there a lot of battlegrounds, there's a lot of different types of battlegrounds. Um, yeah, they just added two more types. The Black Garden Domination and Carthen Ridge Domination. I haven't gotten to try those yet, but I can't wait to. And it's pretty cool. The PvP in this game is very, very good. It's fun, but it is different than World of Warcraft. You're not going to run out there and you're not going to just plow through people and solo everybody. It doesn't work that way. There's too many spells. There's too many absorbs. Heals are crazy. And, um, yeah, it's, it doesn't work that way. So... The way that the PvP in this game is, is more like playing an RBG in World of Warcraft. You have to actually stay with your group, you have to play the objective, you have to really, really stay together, and uh, hopefully you can come out on top. Now this battleground, this is called the Black Garden, this is the very first battleground that you'll have access to as you're leveling up, and for all intents and purposes, it is Murder Ball. That is what it is. There is a fang that spawns in the middle of the map, and somebody on the team has to pick it up. That person will take damage just by holding it, and uh, yeah, the team that holds it the longest, the first team to 500 points, wins. As you can see, the Defiant this time, they picked it up first because we were sucking. It's, yeah. And the fact that I have a broken macro that I didn't notice until after the battleground was over. But uh, that's one of the big things with this game is macros play a huge part. Now I ran in there and I knew I was going to suicide. I just wanted to get some DPS on the Fang Carrier because he's already taken a lot of damage. And uh, yeah, I got him and they got me. Sometimes you just have to be the crazy person that, uh, that runs in there and your team will follow. But they didn't. They didn't follow me, but uh, that's one of the things with this game's PvP. You can't just run in there and expect to come out alive. And maybe as a tank spec, you have a chance, or a healer. Healers are really, really strong uh, versus one or two people. It's actually kind of crazy. It's just too bad that I don't like playing a healer. But you see, my team's just like dancing around the middle, not really sure what they're doing. There's no pressure happening. So, uh... I'm going to run in there and see if I can stir some stuff up. There you go. He popped out. See, he's casting heals. And I do have some decent DPS. Didn't really get it all off there, but he had to run out, out of his cover. Line of sight is also a big thing in this game. You, you can't just shoot through trees. If somebody has even like a... Uh, like a mind play type attack like I had. When he ran around the tree and LOS'd me, I lost my attack. That was it. But, uh... Now the other thing is, there is a cast time when you pick up that fang. So that's why I'm playing my AoE spec, is to hopefully keep them off of the fang, which I was kind of doing right there as we were able to get the fang and uh, take it back to our side. 
We got a little mage over here messing with me all by himself. Silly. Silly mage. Now don't be put off by that if you're playing a mage because mages are really, really crazy. There are certain specs that are like unkillable. But uh, that one, yeah, he just wasn't having it. And plus I purged his shields off. And that's one of the other benefits of playing Inquisitor is I have a purge. So I remove two buffs from the target and generally they're the most recent two so I'm cutting shields off and hots off all the time and it's a beautiful thing so we got this pretty much locked down at this point they're not able to get the pressure they need they're just kind of running in single file and that tends to be what happens a lot of times is one team will start to dominate and the other team just kind of gets frustrated and fails uh, you're not going to be able to just run in there and manhandle somebody solo. It, it just doesn't work that way. There are a few overpowered specs, but it is very RBG-like. You just aren't going to do that. Um, you know, if there's three DPS on you or two DPS and a healer, you're going to get owned just like you should. <laughs> They're all trying to cap the fang. I'm going to get a little AoE action happening here. Now that macro you're seeing, that error message popping up in my chat, it's supposed to be an instant cast macro with a cooldown, and then another instant cast, both AoEs, and neither of them are working. They were working, but I must have hit enter, or I did something and messed up the, the macro, and I didn't notice throughout this whole battleground. It's really annoying me now, though. Again, I'm watching this after the fact. I'm doing the commentary after the fact, because I don't really have the luxury of doing a commentary while I play or I'd be live streaming my life is just very hectic we've got kids we've got a really really noisy puppy and uh, an extremely attractive wife <laughs> but it's impossible for me to do to have like 20 minutes or an hour or two hours of game time uh, to be a normal gamer and play and interact and have fun I don't get to do that. I play in spurts, and I'll, I'll do a battleground here, I'll do two there, and then I'm off. And I'll come back a couple hours later, and I'll try and get some more in. I'll do a raid, uh, whatever I do. I'll do an instance, I'll do some questing. But uh, I, I just, unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of being that, that gamer that can play all day long. I just can't do it. I wish I could. Too much stuff. Yeah. Anyway... As you can see, my AoE came in handy. We are just completely annihilating the Defiant right now. Now, one of the things I did notice, and I don't know if this is true at max level, but I would imagine it is. Um, they will pair up opposite factions. And there's the puppy now, in case you didn't hear. He's a little beagle. She's a little beagle. She's very cute, but very noisy. And, uh, yeah. Very, very noisy. Anyway, pairing up, um, they'll, they'll mix factions if there's not enough players. I have been on my dwarf playing Defiant numerous times. They'll just, they mix them together to make a team to get the battleground queues to be shorter. And it works. And I'm not sure if it happens at max level, but I would imagine it does because it happens all the way up as far as I've noticed. Just earlier today, I was on a Defiant team while I was playing my dwarf and uh, you know there it's not like World of Warcraft you can actually chat with the other team with the opposing faction even you know out in the world so anyway that was a pretty easy win I went five and one that's not bad it's not great but uh, I'm still learning the spec and I also had a broken macro so give me a break but anyway leave me some comments below let me know what you think about Rift PvP let me know if you'd like to play with me and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. This is Eatmo Pie. I'll see ya.